Now we're going to have a look at the common peroneal nerve. So the first thing I'm going to do is just check left is left, and I'm just going to place the probe onto the um, lateral aspects of the distal leg. Now we can see here the tendon of the long head forming, and as we come down, this is going to be the short head. I've got my frequency quite low, because obviously it is going to be quite deep in the back of the leg, and this is the end of the long head, okay? Now if we go slightly further up, Okay, now we see, here we go, we can start to see, we're just going to drop the depth a little bit, we can start to see the nerve. Now if I push a bit harder, then we can see that nerve there. Now that's the sciatic nerve, and that's the tibial nerve, and also the common perineal. So as we come down, if it is, we would expect it to split. Okay, we'll keep watching. Now, can you see it's split already? And that is the common perineal nerve coming off. So you can see them together. Remember, they sit in a fascial plane, and there you can see the sciatic nerve and as we come off that's the tibial now let's follow that common perineal there it is it sits just next door to the short head musculature we can follow it up we're just going to drop the um, depth to make it a bit more superficial and we can also increase our frequency now so here we go this is the common perineal nerve keep tilting there you can see the fascicles within it and a small artery there. This is the short head. This is the lateral femoral condyle because that's articular cartilage. And as we follow it round, you can see it's extremely superficial. So it does make itself prone to blunt, in, blunt trauma. And that's the short head there. So we keep tilting. You can see the fascicles. And then the next thing where it's particularly vulnerable is where it goes over the fibular head, which it's about to do now. So there it is posterior to the fibular head. This is the fibular head coming up. And as we travel more distally you see it going over the top of the fibula now particularly here particularly in football if you get kicked that's where you can start to get some trauma and then it dies deeper so really look carefully at the size of the nerve as it passes over the fibula looking for any signs of trauma you can obviously spin on that as well Did you find that video useful? If you did, don't worry, we've got loads more videos for you. You can like our videos, you can make a comment, you can subscribe to our channel to get all of our new videos, and you can even join our membership. Good luck scanning.